Welcome everyone, this is Chris Emu. I'm actually going to be giving you a spoiler-free review for Andor. If you if you have any questions about Star Wars, Marvel, or DC, comment down below because I'm your guy. So Star Wars fans are already familiar with the Rebel Spy and Freedom Fighter Cassian Andor, who plays a seminal role in Rogue One, a Star Wars story. The latest Star Wars series, Andor, serves as a prequel to the events of Rogue One and it traces Cassian's arc with the intention of explaining what he's doing right now in the series. The socio-political situation in the galaxy during the events of Andor is pretty grim. The Empire is in full swing, to the point where the power hungry have become complacent in their rule as they're smugly satisfied that no one can topple such an omnipresent authorization regime. This however is a perfect time for the dissenters to strike back. Me personally, I feel like Andor is actually doing something right. It's taking what we're used to and putting it into a different direction. Sure, it may be slow in terms of a buildup. But as I started watching episode by episode, I started realizing that the Empire feels like a threat again, there are hardly any cliché dialogues, the story is rich, it feels like Star Wars. And I might have to also argue, this is the best thing that has happened to Star Wars for a while. I think Andor is a step in the right direction. Disney clearly isn't capable of making a good classic Star Wars movie, but when they allow good filmmakers to make stories that aren't just for fan services or bad acting, that's a hell of a lot better than anything trying to copy the original trilogy and failing miserably. Now I gotta say, this is, this is not your average everyday kind of series. It is slow at times. It has gotten to the point where you can watch the first three episodes and it can feel like a movie, but when you're watching episode four all the way to eight, it's nothing but dialogue. It is very slow. If you're not into Star Wars or if you just want to be able to see some kind of fight go on with two lightsabers, um, I gotta say, this TV show is probably not gonna be for you, but I do have to argue that if you want that if you watch this with low expectations, you're not gonna be disappointed. Because every few episodes there is gonna be a gunfight, there is gonna be some action, but if you just hold on, the story is going to explain itself. And now with the score of Andor, I'm gonna have to give Andor the series an eight out of ten.